later in the void. Yep. So if you take a look right in there, I wasn't getting any power, nothing was happening. Garbage, garbage. A few moments. All right, got that guy soldered back on. Let's try this again. There, we can't see it now. There we go. Got it. Shit, I just broke the wire. I'm just having a hell of a time. I'm breaking everything. Breaking plexiglass, breaking wires, breaking the fogger machine. I don't know, hopefully it's entertaining. All right, let's go do this. All right, here we go. Got it kind of somewhat set up. So we have the cell smoker simulator 400 right here, which should hopefully in theory, replicate one of those cells releasing their magic smoke. All right, so we have that going through a piece of conduit into the plexiglass. Plexiglass is from a TV, it's not the best. Obviously I already shattered it right there, drilling my hole, not much you can do about that now. Uh, obviously, I did put a little 12 volt fan in there, and of course, I covered up the fan for this first test just in case this does fill up and goes through the piece of conduit right there and into this box. Sorry for the lighting. Hopefully, it does come out this piece of conduit right here and starts to fill up this box. All right, if it does make it up this far, then I'm going to shut the door and we're going to hope that it goes through the little half inch tube right there that everybody says is way too small and make its way outside all right obviously i did put a piece of foam in that one right there so we don't go into this box over here uh, i've got a bunch of clamps on here to hopefully help this thing seal and of course i've got tape all the way around it as well or at least tape in random spots i don't know hopefully it doesn't leak too much all right so that's the setup let's let's try it out I just poured fluid in it, turned it on. This is the remote right here. The light's supposed to show up whenever it's ready. And then I can push the red button and it explodes. That's about it. Or I get a remote exploder right here. All right, I don't know if you can see, but the little light is on. All right, here we go. I have to hold the button down. This is how cheap this thing is. Here we go. All right, it's filling up. It's filling up. I don't know how long this goes either. We might have to do it a few times. Oh. I do. I've got it. I've got it coming out right up here. All right. I'm going to shut this. Oh, it's coming out of my, my circuit breaker over here. All right. Let's fill it up some more. Yeah, it's coming out of my circuit breaker. I need to. All right. Let me stop for a second. I didn't really think about that coming through the circuit breaker like that. Okay. Let me put some tape over my circuit breaker. Hold on a sec. All right. So it is coming out of my circuit breaker, which I guess I did not really see happening. I do have a little bit coming out of that fan right there, but anyway, let's keep going. Okay. I don't see any smoke out here yet. I wonder if this will reach. I think I can smell it though. I think if we get enough in there, it'll come out. Don't know if there's any coming out. I don't think there is. Fill it up. So I think what we're gonna do is turn the fan on and see what happens. Come on, fan. Fan's not working now. It worked just fine over there. Now it doesn't wanna go. Come on, spin. 
You see this? You see the problems? There it goes. All right, all right. I'm going to go outside now and see what we got. I can feel air coming out of there. You just can't see the smoke. So it could have been coming out already. All right, so I can definitely feel it. You just can't see it. All right, so we're not fully evacuated yet, it looks like, unless that's a little bit of a haze on the glass. It's hard to tell. But it is evacuating it. Hopefully this doesn't leave a residue. I didn't really think about a residue. All right, there's some in there still, but for the most part, it's gone. All righty, what did we learn from the Simulator Cell Smoker 5000? Well, honestly, I think we learned quite a few things. For one, we learned how to shatter some acrylic sheeting from a TV. We learned how to pull out a wire from a fan. And we learned that really cheap fogging machines from Amazon Wow. Should have returned it, but I'm glad I opened it up just to check the wiring on the inside because it was an easy fix. And of course, my battery. Hold on. Well, we also learned I should just make a bigger battery pack for my camera. What did we actually learn from all of these tests? All right, so some of them actually you guys already mentioned. So one of the first things we learned is we do actually need a fan, which I was already kind of leaning on. I just wasn't quite sure which fan to get. Second part of the fan is we learned that we need a fan to suck everything out versus blow because you can't really seal every single hole in there. For one, I learned that smoke or whatever you call that stuff was coming just straight out of the circuit breaker. I was not expecting that, but that's what happened. So we definitely need a fan to suck everything out versus blow. Because actually in the beginning when I was thinking about doing all this, I was just gonna put a fan in the bottom box, you know, so I could bring in air from outside and just blow through the lower box, go through the PVC conduit, through the upper box, and then out my little tube. I don't think that's a good idea because I can't seal every single hole, especially a circuit breaker. I would imagine you would probably mess something up if you started sealing a circuit breaker. So we need a suck fan versus a blow fan. And I think some of you guys already mentioned that. The next thing, which could be the third thing I can't really remember, is the half inch PVC pipe that I used for my, my vent. Yeah, I would agree it's a little too small. However, I am not going to add some big ass four inch monstrosity coming off of that because I think I think you guys are forgetting the idea is we're just trying to evac some smoke out of a couple of boxes, all right? It doesn't have to be anything crazy or anything like that. So whenever I change the pipe, I'm not going with some big ass monstrosity. I'm not gonna go any bigger than one and a half inch pipe. And honestly, and I was like, okay, sure. After reading all the comments, yeah, I can put a bigger pipe in there. Everybody says use metal. I'll just go with regular one and a half inch EMT. All right. Until about 10 or 15 minutes ago, I was still leaning on, you know, regular EMT. And then I remembered I had a piece of one and a half inch of this PVC stuff and I tried bending it. And you know what? It takes a really long time and heat to bend just this much right here, okay? So I think I'm actually going to stick with the PVC pipe because I'll tell you why. Once I cut a hole in the bottom box, I can draw in cold, fresh air. It's gonna suck all that hot air out, so it's not only gonna be just pure, hot, smoky air going through the PVC outside. It's gonna be a mixture of cold air as well. So I don't think it's gonna have enough time to heat this up and melt it together or you know bend it or whatever and clog it up. I think this is gonna be just fine. And honestly, I did some one inch too, and even the one inch took quite a bit of time and heat just to do this. So again, if we're sucking out hot and cold air, I don't even think this will have enough time to collapse, you know, and do and not evacuate the smoke as it's intended to do. So just like I said a minute ago, I ordered a fan. It should be here later on today. I'm gonna see how it does just sucking on this right here. And if it sucks or if it blows, I'll try it on this one as well. And I'll just see how well, you know, they can move air through each one of these pipes. And if the one inch does a really good job, I'm gonna use one inch. If it sucks, 
then I'm gonna go to the one and a half inch. Just letting you guys know that ahead of time. All right, one of the other things mentioned was where I exited my house. I probably should have put like a, a 90 degree bend right there or somebody even mentioned going up and then back down. I'm not doing anything crazy like that outside. You know, I just don't want it to look like crap outside. But I guess what I could do is just put a small bend on the outside, then I don't have to have any crazy bends on the inside. That should take care of any water penetration in the house. And of course, I'll add a little tiny screen inside that elbow so none of the little critters can get up inside and have a little mouse slide right inside the house. All right, well, I think that is pretty much all I can remember at the moment until the video is done. I'll, I'll remember all sorts of things because that's just how it goes. All right, so I think getting the 400 watt fogger was an excellent idea. I actually learned a lot. Hopefully you guys did too, if anybody else is, you know, making a vent. And that's another thing. I don't think anybody else is even making events. So we're just making this up as we go. Anyway, Fogger, great idea. We learned a lot. If anybody else has any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions, make sure you put those down below because I'm gonna start putting this thing together. Because honestly, if I don't start getting this done and connecting the cells up and start using this stuff, I don't know if I'll ever get it done. So make sure you like that smash button and I will see you on the next one. <laughs> All right, so I'm hoping this little fogger here will simulate, simulate, simulate. Yep, garbage, garbage. Ugh. No. Shit, I just broke the wire.